for Simpson at the moment, well on top. I don't think he'll be taking anything for granted, though, given the, uh, the rough decisions that he's had over the years. I think the one against Dazzo Williams was particularly uh, galling for him. He fought for the British title. Went on to win it. And he uh, beat Andy Morris on a cut. He actually uh, stopped Morris in seven rounds. Retained that title. And he lost it to, uh, to Paul Appleby. One of his fights earlier this year, Colin, um, had to be called off because there was a flood in the arena. Really? It was up in Middlesbrough. It's raining punches at the moment for... Uh, John Simpson. Simpson's in a rhythm now, uh, and Bell's struggling to keep up with that. Well, he's beating him really in every department, doesn't he? He's out jabbing him, he's, uh, he's out hooking him. You would fancy playing poker against John Simpson, would you? Because he's got that kind of glaze comes over him and. No emotion at all. As again, he just gets through and puts Bell on the back foot. The straight right hands are getting straight through De Bell's defence every time. Bell just can't keep him off at the moment. It's one-way traffic. If it goes on much longer like this, I can see this being stopped. Well, he's just getting a working over at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, yeah very one-way traffic. Very one-way traffic at the moment. Sport's often all about levels, isn't it? And you just feel that the Bell's at one level and Simpson's at least one or two above. A minute left of this fifth round. Probably Simpson's best of the fight, I'd say. But he seems to be getting faster and Bell seems to be getting slower. Yeah, there's less coming back from Bell e e each round, so Simpson's just improving each round. It's easy to look good when you're not being put under any pressure. Well, yeah, that, that is true. Good right hand from Bell there, but Simpson just walked straight through it. He's got a pretty decent chin, John Simpson. Better jab from Bell. Maybe his best of the round. Just not doing enough, though, to get a toehold in this fight, even. He's under constant pressure. Because Bell can't punch, Bell ain't got no power. He needs to keep that jab busier. He well, needs to keep that jab sticking out, you know, so obviously Simpson knows there's some, at least there's something coming back, try and put him off what he's doing. Simpson, well, he's good at closing the, the ring down as well, though, isn't he, Colin? Oh, yeah. yeah. The only thing he lacks, of course, is power himself. And when I think of some of the uh, guys I've seen at featherweight down the years, just take Nazim Ahmed. I mean, break both these two in half. Um, Azuma Nelson, uh, Alex Arguello when he was a featherweight, um, Salvador Sanchez. Well, even closer well, to home, you think Scott Harrison, who was a, was oh, a good, good world champion, wasn't he? Oh, wasn't, a, wasn't a great, though. Oh, absolutely. But it'd be, um, uh, it'd be too much for these two. I mean, uh, at the, you know, Simpson's a good fighter at this particular level, but he's not in the uh, in the class of the guys we've just mentioned, I don't think. I don't know whether oh, Ryan would agree with no, that. No, definitely, 100%, yeah. Oh, we've got some in-fight odds here, and I think Simpson was an overwhelming favourite. I think Colin said it last round, his fifth fight carries on how it's been doing. You can see Bell getting stopped in the next couple of rounds. Simpson's just, he's just growing in confidence. I think Bell might start to lose a bit of heart as well. And knowing that he's, well, we've got five rounds down, I don't really think you can make much of a, maybe the first round was even. Not much of a case for him winning any of the next four. Bell seems to be using his jab a little bit more this round. I wonder if Arnie's told him to kick, you know, be busy with his jab to keep Simpson off a, li a little bit. He's relentless, isn't he, Simpson? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he never lets him uh, alone for a second. Well, good body shot, though, from Bell. So left hand to the body, but Simpson just 
takes his shot so well. Tough Scotsman. Comes back with a body shot of his own. Good left hand to the body, that. But all uh, Bell's shots or single shots. There are no combination punches. Now Bell's trapped in a neutral corner. Just looks as if his, his strength's being sapped as well, doesn't it? Even the, uh, the jab that he puts out. There's not much weight behind it, not much power. Here he's struggling to keep Simpson off him. He's trapped in that corner. He should be, should be trying to get, at least trying to get out of the corner. It's almost as if he's not got the energy or the strength to yeah. do it. Fights back, but he's in a, a storm at the moment. Blocking Stephen Bell. A, blocking a lot of shots, but a lot are still getting through. He should be one, two, you know, throwing his punches and trying to get out himself. He's going through a torrid minute here. Bell. This is tough. I mean, he's showing plenty of bravery. He's, he's coming back, Stephen Bell, but another couple of headshots there. Still trapped in the corner. <laughs> I tell you, he's cheeky he's, too. He's saying to Simpson, come on, is that all you've got? <laughs> oh, now Simpson nearly cuts him in half with a left to the body. Bell showing no... Uh, Real desire to get out of that corner. Almost the entire round's been done in that corner. Simpson knows Bell's got no power, so Simpson's just staying in front of him, chucking his shots because he knows nothing can hurt hurt him coming back. A little right uppercut there, just caught Simpson off balance. Ryan's right, there's nothing really coming back from Bell. Tries with another uppercut, which misses. Well, I mean, the number of headshots that Simpson's landed, it just shows you that, you know, he's got much, not much power either. Well, this round could have been done in a phone booth. I don't think they've moved out of that corner from uh, 2 minutes 30. They're still there now. Looks like Simpson may punch himself out here. Well, maybe that's what Bell's hoping for. Yeah. Still last, in the same corner. <laughs> last 10 seconds. Well, really, you could score that a 10-8 round. It might be a bit harsh, Colin. Bell's got a nasty bump under his left eye, and, and Dean's working on a cut in that corner as well. Oh, that eye's come right up, hasn't yeah. it? Staying on that, in that corner, taking all that punishment, you know, sooner or later well, you're going to get marked up. We're just watching our monitor, Amir Khan, is in the building on his way to his dressing room before he defends his world title for the first time against Dimitri Salita and uh, you can see Freddie Roach already sitting in his dressing room I don't know how long Freddie's been there before him Corner, 10 seconds second out round 7 Stephen Bell for all his trouble in the corner in that Sixth round, he's just got a very big lump under his uh, left eye. He's come so out throwing punches this round. Has. He's taken the, yeah. the fight to Simpson now. Got to hand it to him, he's brave. Well, he knows this is his uh, big chance here. Almost for the first time in the fight, he's got Simpson going backwards as well. See, this is what he needed to do throw punches after punches after punches. A little left uppercut there, and Simpson does go backwards. Not really uh, in any sort of difficulty at the moment, but suddenly Bell's got control of the centre of the ring. Maybe, uh, maybe Simpson decided to take a breather this round. After that last round, I wonder if he took, you know, threw a lot of shots and, and thought he'd take a breather this round, like you said, Colin. Well, two good, good uh, yeah, two good left hands from Simpson. A little cut around the eye as well for Stephen Bell. This is, he's begun it this round, the best he has all fight, really. <laughs> and Simpson just uh, throws out that jab, though. Puts Bell right on the end of it. Bell stopped throwing punches again. It was almost like a, a burst of energy, wasn't it? And then yeah. he, he's just not got the stamina there to throw punches for minute after minute. Yeah. 
Bit of a forlorn figure at the moment. You get the impression that eye oh, is just about to burst open as well. It's going to be a nasty one if it goes. I think referee's going to have a look at his eye. Yeah, referee's decided to. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get him out of there, to be honest, because he's going nowhere. Yeah, it's all over. I think Andy Farnell took the opportunity to get him out of there. I think good decision. It seemed like it was only going one way. I think it was a good decision by Arnie there. I bet uh, if that fight was close, on Andy Farnell would have said, nothing wrong with that ref. John Simpson, though, the winner. And uh, Stephen Bell uh, stopped on a, a damaged left eye. But he was well behind on points and they're falling apart, really. Simpson very much ahead and look the real deal as well successfully defends his Commonwealth featherweight title Stephen Bell sharing a word with uh, Billy Nelson uh, Simpson's training team he looks a decent fighter John Simpson but not world class no he looks like he's got a couple of levels to go up some decent fights to be made at featherweight as well I know he's desperate to get his British title back here is MC Mark Burdis I think with the official result just waiting for uh, television to cue him but it's John Simpson who retains his title here in Newcastle and he looks at at least one or two levels above um, Stephen Bell Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, two seconds of round seven, your referee has stopped the contest due to a severe cut over Stephen Bell's eye. The referee deemed he was in no position to continue the winner and still the Commonwealth featherweight champion from Greenock, John Simpson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the gallant and the talented Stevie Bell. So it's John Simpson who takes the accolades from the crowd here in Newcastle with a successful defence of his Commonwealth featherweight title, stopping Stephen Bell in the seventh.